Yes, everybody, welcome back to a brand new video here on the FIFA 22 career mode with Wolves. Uh, we're now into December, actually, so really looking forward to seeing how we can get on uh, as we head towards the halfway point in the season. As always, we're going to be checking up on how we've been getting on so far. Um, and then maybe a little look at players that we may look to start to bring in because obviously the next episode is probably going to be sometime in January. Uh, so let's quickly jump on to the calendar. As you can see, still 12th place in the league um, and three games since we last met. One win, one draw and one loss. Um, the win was up against Burnley, a 3-1 win. Unfortunately, we lost uh, to Liverpool, two goals to one and then we've just recently drawn to Manchester City. Today, we're going to have the games against Brighton and Chelsea, uh, one away, and then we return on Saturday uh, to have the home game at Molyneux against Chelsea. Um, so, yeah, 12th place in the league. It's still very, very tight, as we looked last time, really. We're 12 in the league, but in terms of points, we're only four points outside of the top seven. Um, so a couple of wins between now and the end of the month, we could uh, definitely, definitely be up there. A couple of transfers going through currently. Um, mainly youth players, really. Nothing too major. We've got uh, Chem Campbell and Christian Marquez going out on loan. Chem Campbell with loan with an option to buy to Groningen uh, in Holland. And uh, I think it's uh, Christian Marquez set to go out if he hasn't already gone out on loan as well. So, um, in terms of transfers, I think I'm going to look to sell first to buy. Obviously, we, we took out... A lot of our transfer budget last time. So we haven't got a huge amount uh, to spend. But I don't know. Maybe another. Possibly another central midfielder. Adama is. Um, you know. Pretty much the only right winger we've got. Uh, and But other than that. Our squad is, is pretty pretty strong. Uh, the In terms of the. Uh, where is it now. That I was talking about. The board expectation. Uh, for brand exposure, they want us to sign two players outside of Europe. So we may have to obviously look at doing that. But a few of the other things like the youth development one we've completed. Um, the domestic success. They want us to do quite well in the FA Cup. And want a Europa League spot, which I think is going to be difficult. Want profit uh, from youth player sales, which we can uh, maybe have a look at as well. But let's jump into this game anyway. Against Brighton, of course. The new formation, the 4-3-3 or the 4-3-2-1. Hopefully, it'll uh, come into the action. I think we'll probably start Fatty ahead of Neto in this game. Um, but other than that, let's jump into it. So here we are then at the Amex to take on Brighton, Hove and Albion. Or Brighton and Hove Albion. What is it? Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, I've been to the Amex before. Really nice stadium. But hopefully, folks, we can uh, kick off and get a win in this episode today. Brighton with the, uh, the chance maybe here. Coming forward, Bolly makes a good tackle, and off we go. Neves into Jimenez. Ansu Fati now. Good play by Fati. Johnny Dendonka. Renato has found the run of Adama. Traore! Oh. Wow. What a miss by Adama. On that left foot again. Best move of the game for us. As you can see, not too happy with that. Big, big chance. Oh, chance for Brighton. Well, of course. Of course. 1-0 Brighton. I'm skipping it. First shot for them on goal. Well, I'll say that. They had a decent header, but first big chance. Obviously, we have not taken ours. We've looked pretty comfortable throughout this game, but obviously 1-0 down already. Two nil. Two nil Brighton. Um this one I don't really know how to explain, to be honest. Once again, just waiting for the chance to open up. Bolly turned inside out. And the finish of, uh, ahead of Jose Sar. All right, we've got a mountain to climb now. Well, it's half time. Nowhere near good enough, obviously. But we've had our chances once again. Putting our chance, wasting our chances. 
and Brighton taking theirs. Uh, we look at the match facts. Uh, ah, five shots to, to their three. They've just taken their chances. We need to wake up the second half. Smedo finds Neves. We need a goal. Movement of this front three are nowhere near good enough. And see Fatty though is in on that left foot. Good goal. 20 minutes or so to go. It's a really nice goal from Ansu Fati. Struck it across goal. And we're back in this game now with just over 20 minutes to go. Offside. Got to be offside. Oh, my word. How is he not offside there? Right, I'm bringing Huang on just to bring a bit more pace in, into the front line, but... Who's playing him on? Oh, there's a guy at the back post. That was tight. All over the place today. The gameplay doesn't feel great, if I'm honest, and you can probably see that, but we've just been absolutely dreadful. No movement whatsoever. Bolly, you twit! It's a bit too heavy, Willy Bolly. But this game today has been atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Nothing's clicked. Nothing's gelled. The movement has been non-existent. I need to change something for the Chelsea game. I think I, I need to change the support runs from the front three because they just watch. We need them on getting behind. Because that is a very frustrating game. Dreadful, dreadful match. So we're, we're back at Molyneux and we need a win. We're up against Chelsea and we've got to react after that last game, which was a huge defeat against Brighton. So here we go. Hopefully we can get a win or something out of this game, but let's see. Renato, good football, good start to be fair. Neto on the right foot and forces Mendy into an early save. Good start. Knocking the ball around really, really nicely. And Pedro Neto got that shot away. Forced Mendy into an early stop. Neto. That's better. Adama Traore straight at the goalkeeper. But those runs there you saw straight away are much better. Chelsea knocking the ball around quite nicely here. It's opened up for Timo Werner. And Jose Sarr made to save it. Tomato, Troy all right. Renato. Jimenez comes back and lays it off for Johnny. And again for Renato. Saw that run of Tomato, but Renato Sanchez is going to go alone here. Renato Sanchez! That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yes. Great finish. It just opened up for him. Those forward runs causing Chelsea all sorts of trouble. You see that? Just dragged out the defender there. And just had to hit it sweet to beat Mendy. His fifth goal of the season, Renato Sanchez. Money well spent so far. Chelsea have opened us up here. Chance here and slid it across. An instant reply. It's Kai Havertz. And he'll have a little dance of his own as well. I've, yeah, yeah. I love when Havertz does that in real life. Yeah, ball across. Um, Bolly again. The man beating. I know I said maybe this team was strong enough, but maybe that's a position that we have to look at. Uh, a replacement for Willy Bolly just seems to create a lot of mistakes for us. Renato again. On the left foot this time. Oh, he's done it again. Renato Sanchez has made it 2 1. Very, very similar goal to before on that left foot. Beautiful strike past Eduard Mendy. And it's two for Sanchez and two for us as we take the lead. Oh, Werner. Great turn. Jose Sarr. What a save. What a save by Jose Sarr. Fantastic stop. 
by the goalkeeper to keep us ahead just before half time here. Here's Renato Sanchez now, and the half time whistle should go probably when we're through on goal here. But the referee's going to allow us to have this chance here. Adama Traore on the right foot, and again, it's a poor effort. But we'll take the half time whistle, and we are 2 1 up and looking extremely comfortable. Two goals from Renato Sanchez. Give us that lead that we need, we desperately need after a heavy defeat in the last game. Um, but yeah, really, really good. Eight shots to their three. We are looking really good. And those changes that we made, those running in behind, getting behind, constant pressure seems to be really working. Here's Renato Sanchez again. Adama Sanchez, it's free. Brilliant. Brilliant. Renato Sanchez has done it again. And Adama Troyore was the man that created it. Probably knew that he wasn't going to have the same effect as Renato did. And a lovely, lovely goal by Renato Sanchez. Who scores again to get his hat trick. But the second, the second episode in a row, I think that is. Neto got one in the last episode. And we've got uh, Renato now. You love to see it. 3-1. Jimenez still. Chelsea wide open here. Raul Jimenez. It's 4-1. Not a clue what happened there with Chelsea. But now it's Jimenez to make it 4-1. But they just opened up. This, these forward runs must drag them all over the place. But it's a brilliant strike. And there's a difference between these games that we're actually taking our opportunities this time round. And more or less now securing ourselves the three points. Contain Werner, good football. Werner's in, and Jose Sarr is equal to it again. Right at the death. Well, brilliant again. And here is Ryan Aitnori who's come off the bench to break forward for us. You've got three Chelsea players chasing him. He can possibly see Renato Sanchez at the back post. He can! Oh! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Renato Sanchez. And Renato, uh, Renato Sanchez, yeah. Renato Sanchez and Ryan Aitnori combining. What a run that is! But look at this for a ball. Chelsea defence this game have been all over the place. But what a finish that is! An unbelievable strike. Just sort of gets his foot across it. And Mendy, absolutely no chance. And that wraps up the game in style. The whistle will go more or less any time now. 5-1. Just those changes. Difficulty, folks. Exactly the same. Everything. Just I changed the way we attack. And it's worked absolutely brilliant. Wow. What a win that is. And the match ball for Renato Sanchez, who's actually grabbed four goals today. Phenomenal performance. And uh, by far the best game of the career mode so far. Absolutely smashed and brilliant. So that win now puts us into 11th place in the league. Well, we've got a risk of losing player. We'll have a look at that, surely. Contract due to expire. Oh, John Ruddy. Okay, we'll probably uh, we'll probably sell him in this window. But yeah, we've got the transfer window coming up. We'll obviously update you guys with that in the next episode. But we are 11th place now in the league. Still pretty tight up there. 24 points. We're still four points behind uh, the top seven. But uh, if we have a look now at the... Um, the schedule for when we'll come back. Uh, we've got Watford and we've got Arsenal in the next month or so. And then we should have a cup game this week. So we'll probably come back for the Manchester United game maybe. And uh, a cup game as well. But guys, as always, be sure to hit the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.